you all are rich now, huh? You can pay for this dress. Uh, we're check the hut this morning. Uh, there's a few people out there. I am going to be down here at Double D this weekend. Um, Day one, we decided to come out and do some sluicing. We went up to Big Bug Creek and there was no water. It's dry as a bone up there. So we came down to one of uh, my friend's claims. There's water here, but I don't think there's enough to, for us to sluice. So we're just kind of hiking around. So we'll show you what's going on there. Careful, you got thorns here. Every, that's the other thing about the desert. Everything is either is built to either stick, prick, or poke you. If not, bite you. It's probably a little easier than trying to come down this side. <laughs> Go back the other way. <laughs> They're like, why are y'all messing with us? Why are y'all what coming around us?
day two of prospecting in Arizona. I managed to get down to a private claim here. Uh, I am basically high banking. The guy was generous enough to loan me a high banker. And so it has just been a beautiful day out here. I'm just doing some shoveling, which is not something I normally do. But uh, hey, I'm out here having fun. Hopefully I can get a little bit of this Arizona gold. Things I noticed about his claim here is if you look at this material, there's very little overburden. That means at one point that creek was all the way up there and it dropped pretty quick because there's very little overburden on the top of it. And all of it down, all the way to the creek bottom, looks good. He said, he, he said he's probably been camping on a whole bunch of gold. He just doesn't know it yet. This is crazy. Old Chinese rock pile, huh? That's nuts, man. Just think of them. They're just moving these big honking rocks. <laughs> I just can't even imagine. Yeah, anything the place to be or what? Well, I would go. <laughs> yeah. Actually, probably under the rocks is where you want to be now.